Hi, I'm Andrea Nguyen, and we're on Clement Street in San Francisco. It's one of the most bustling places to shop for Asian ingredients in the entire country. And today, I want to show you what the potential is for using the Asian Market Shopper to help you navigate your way around an Asian market. Come on, let's start shopping. <laughs> There are so many different kinds of soy sauces used in Asian kitchens, and it's really hard to figure out which ones to use. For example, take a look at all of the variety that's on this one condiment wall right here. How do you make sense of what you need? Use the Asian market shopper to help you. So I love shaking beef in restaurants. I'm going to try to make it at home, and I'm serving it to company, so I want it to look right. I figured out from this that dark soy sauce is what, is what gives it its mahogany color. So that's what I'm here to find. And what I see is this is the right thing. Perfect. at an Asian market, all the signs are in Chinese characters or in a language that you don't understand. For example, with water spinach that I'm looking for, there's no sign that says water spinach. So you know what? Use the app. Here's the entry for water spinach. And then you can just tap on the screen and it enlarges. Now ask someone to help you find it. So I've got the sauce for my shaking beef, now I'm moving on to other stuff and trying to decode the rice because I'm doing jasmine rice with the beef, but then I want to do sticky rice with mango for dessert. I need two types of rice for that, correct? Correct. And you know what? When you go to a market, there are a ton of different types of rice. And right here now, we're in the rice aisle. And so you've just got your basic, regular jasmine rice, and then you've also got sticky rice. Sometimes it's called glutinous rice. And if you notice, um, if you read your app entry in the Asian Market Shopper, you'll, you'll realize that the sticky rice is opaque. Whereas the regular rice, your jasmine rice that you would use for steamed rice, let's say, is translucent. So when you're shopping, make sure you get that straight. So I don't see anything for the sticky rice that looks exactly like the picture, but this is where the audio component comes in because I can just ask to go to the clerk, hit this, and they'll understand what I'm looking for by hearing the way that it sounds. Exactly. Very smart, Asian shopper. We're trying. <laughs> Sticky rice, gao nem. There's a wealth of ingredients at an Asian market, and we don't all know what they are. Even if we're speaking the language that, you know, Chinese, Vietnamese, or Korean, you just need a little help. And you need a reference tool to carry with you to the market. And the Asian market shopper does just that. This dinner is going to be awesome, thanks to all your help and to the Asian Market Shopper. So, thank you very much. You're welcome, David. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>